hey y'all welcome back to my channel and i want to say sorry for not finishing up everything i was supposed to do in my last weekly weekly vlog but time be timing sometimes and it be getting the best of me i really need to not procrastinate so much that's one of my goals this year like when i say i'm gonna do something i need to do it expeditiously so i'm working on that i'm working on progress you know but i'm gonna get there i promise you i'm gonna get there so when i get back to the house today i promise you i'm gonna tint my eyebrows i'm gonna do my lashes and I'm going to, you know, get my hair together. I don't know what I'm really going to do to my hair. Because in two weeks, I'm going back to Detroit um, for my cousin baby shower. My friend's birthday. To see some of my other friends. We got a girls night planned. Um, to see my siblings. My daughter having a birthday party there. Like, it's a lot going on in this very short weekend that I'm going to be there. So... I need to have my hair done for that and I don't like putting a lot of shampoo in my hair so I usually shampoo my hair like once a month <clears throat> and then let it be however it's gonna be once it's not like you know done done anymore I just will have it stuff like this or um, I'll like put some hairspray in there and wear it in the tight ponytail or you know different stuff like that you know y'all gonna learn I'm gonna show y'all I'm gonna show y'all but Today is um, Wednesday or Thursday. I think it's Wednesday. Um, I didn't have all the snacks and stuff for Jada's lunch. So I had to come down yonder to the Dollar Tree because they got all the snacks. And I had got her a few things for her lunch. So I just wanted to show y'all what I am packing for her lunch. So I already had cut up some oranges at home and i have them in a little um sandwich ziploc um and i put that in there before i even left the house and then dollar tree you know they have the pack of the cracker and cheese dips she loved those um she got some granolas this came from home they don't sell these at the dollar tree um i also got her this lunchable it's a ham and cheese lunchable she loved these uh i got the one without the without the um the dessert because i mean i have snacks in her bag so she didn't need dessert so this is good enough uh also her favorite chips some doritos and then i don't let her eat i mean drink pop like or soda however people say it down here but i seen these fago oranges and y'all know you know if you're from detroit you see a fago in another state <laughs> you gotta get it i never see fago here ever so the fact that i seen a fago and they were four for a dollar at dollar tree i had to get it so i'm gonna let her have that win she's gonna be too happy when she get this because i usually pack her lunch with actual food it usually is like the dinner from the night before or something like that she has real food in her lunch so this is really like almost all snacks and a soda so she gonna be hyped she gonna be really happy to get this and she wasn't in too much of a good mood this morning so i figured getting her a lot of stuff that she like and i know that she's gonna be happy with is gonna make her day and she's gonna have a good day for the rest of the day if she's not having a good day so that's what i am going for with this lunch all right y'all so i just got home right first of all i think i need me um the little tripod thing that you hold your camera on so that I won't be like having to like elongate my arm to like show my face and stuff because when I looked at some of my video footage, my camera was like low like this and you couldn't see my whole face and it's like weird. Like I'm going to get it together, y'all. Y'all, you know, bear with me. But I just wanted to show y'all this because I was so excited. Yes, my tree is still up. <laughs> Accept it. 
I love Christmas and I don't like taking my tree down until I feel like taking it down. Usually that's like February, sometimes March. But anyhow, so in two weeks, you know, I'm going to visit back home and me and my friends are having a pajama party and my pajamas just came. I'm so excited. Like I am about to rip these boys open and I'm going to show y'all what it looked like. If I can get in there. So I'm trying to show y'all this thing. It's barely. Amazon don't be playing. Jesus. <laughs> no, it's not even Amazon. This she in. I'm talking about Amazon. Well, she in. They not playing with me. Like they got the junk wrapped and locked and loaded. Good grief. Alright, so we got our pajamas from Shein. And let me open it for y'all so I can show you what they looking like. I'm not going to try it on for y'all because I want y'all to see them on us when we do the girls night. So, okay. So, these are the bottoms. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> um, these are the bottoms. And this is the top. So, it looks like this. It's so cute. So it is a Valentine's Day. Oh, sorry. I am so excited. And it's a Valentine's Day themed pajama party. So that's why we got like the hearts on there. And it's going to be decorated. It's going to be so freaking cute. I can't wait. I'm super excited. And um, so once I do that girls night, I'm definitely going to be filming that. So make sure you stay tuned to that. So that's going to be like a vlog that's going to come out in like two weeks or so, two or three weeks because I got to film the week and then post it and stuff. So it's probably going to be like two weeks, two and a half weeks out where you'll be able to see it. So just stay tuned. I'm going to be showing me getting prepared and prepped um, for it and everything. So yes, period. Hey y'all. So it is friday and i'm with the little one we are at this place called cremos and we are about to get some rolled ice cream which is her very favorite and she's been asking me to go here all week so i'm gonna show you guys how they make it it's really cool let's do it a favor you know what you're getting hmm are you gonna get the Nutella? Or are you gonna try something new? <laughs> huh? Ooh. Strawberry cheese. Strawberry cheese. What? You gonna get something new? What? She usually get Nutella, that's her favorite, but I'm gonna show y'all how they make it. graham crackers, strawberries, and ice cream. Here you go. You happy? You want you want to get your some napkins for the car ride? Sweet. You happy now? <laughs> She's been wanting this all week, and we usually only come on Fridays to get it. And then um, we're about to don't, just throw it away. Just throw it away. We're about to get pizza too because we're gonna go on a car ride. Sometimes we randomly just go on car rides and look at houses and stuff and just, you know, take a drive with the family just to like bond. That's one of our things that we love to do. So that's what we're about to do. About to go pick up pizza. She wanted ice cream and we're gonna eat in the car and literally just drive around. <laughs> like it's one of our faves. Sometimes we stop at like a park we see or something like that, but that's what we're about to do. 
Happy Saturday, y'all. I'm eating breakfast. So on Saturday mornings, we usually, Saturday and Sunday mornings, really, we usually eat breakfast all together. And I'm having eggs and waffles. Kevin has waffles, and he's having eggs, waffles, and bacon. Mm -hmm. And some good coffee. Coffee. I haven't had coffee yet. I'm drinking water because I'm probably gonna drink a lot of coffee today. So that's period. That's pretty much what we do in the morning on Saturdays. I probably should have filmed cooking. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll film cooking and putting the dishes up and all that good stuff. But today you just get us a gym. Breakfast. So I am about to go grocery shopping because I ain't got no food at home, so we're about to get Publix, and I'm thinking about cooking some chili tonight because it is a little chilly outside, and I haven't made chili in a while, and that's one of me and my husband's favorites, so I think I'm going to do like a pot of chili with some crackers and call it a day or a night so i'm gonna pick up everything and i'll show y'all what i got and what i put in my chili once i get home because i don't want to have to film everything in the store but yeah or maybe i will i don't Including what I cook for dinner at least one of the nights when I film but I'm gonna try that's my goal to try to at least include one dinner night in my weekly vlog so y'all can just get a little recipe in and I know a lot of y'all y'all don't like the meat like this that you can't see because you feel like you can't see it so you don't want it but at the end of the day we don't know what they're doing to none of this stuff. Like, even if you can see it, you don't know what they put in it and what they're doing, what type of dyes they're using, how it was packaged. Like, you just don't know. So, I just feel like it is what it is. I'm going to get what I feel like it's the best price for the most, you know, the thing for my book. So, that's what I do. Y'all can do what y'all do, and that's what I'm going to do.
y'all. So, about to take hubby his plate. If I don't drop the tray first. All right, let's see. Here you go. You're welcome. Have a taste. Hey, you're dropping everywhere already. Is it too spicy? Mm -hmm. Huh? Perfect. Is it enough seasoning? Yep. You like it? Good. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Dang, you so busy trying to eat, you ain't trying to kiss me. Dang, that hurt. He just headbutted me, giving me one kiss. We don't never kiss one time. We got a three kiss minimum every time we kiss. He gonna just try to kiss me one time and headbutt me. Anyway, y'all, we about to eat and I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. He's out. It is Sunday night. I took a nap today when my husband had um, took a nap and we were asleep. I woke up. I didn't feel like cooking. So we wound up ordering in. And what we wound up ordering was some pizza. We got some Pizza Hut stuffed crust. Um, pizza, which is like our fave. Mozzarella sticks. I ain't want nothing but to show y'all what we was doing today on Sunday. Um, uh, we really just pretty much had a lazy day in the house. We're not doing anything much, but, um, chilling. So, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, so today is Tuesday. It's Tuesday night. I didn't film yesterday, which was Monday. Um, I'm not even gonna sit and make excuses. I just didn't. And but today I'm here, and I'm gonna let you know what we're doing today. So I've been telling y'all. Sorry, my head itch. It's dirty, y'all. But I refuse to wash it because I told y'all next week I'm going out of town, and so I have to wash my hair. So it could be freshly done next week. And I don't like washing my hair more than what it needs to be washed in a month. Like, I don't like putting a lot of shampoo on my hair. So, I know some of you girlies like washing your hair every day, every other day, whatever. Every week, every two weeks. Me, once a month. I don't, I don't like shampoo like that. Like, I might condition, but not um, shampoo. But anyway... Let's get straight into it. So today, I'm about to do this little men beard eyebrow trick. Now, this is not the just for men. This is called Quick Cover. It's a permanent hair color for great coverage instead of like the just for men. I think that one is like temporary, but this is baby. It's permanent. So, you see that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to just go straight for it and do the permanent. I haven't opened this yet. Um, it's still got the little seal on there. So, I'm about to open this joint and just get straight to it. I'm going to do my eyebrows first and then afterwards, I'm going to do my lashes. So, I'm going to show you what I got for my eyebrows. So, for my eyebrows, I got... Sheesh. So, for my eyebrows, I got this joint right here. And then, I have my little... Yeah, this is the permanent boy right here, y'all. All right, so I have the stuff that come with this. They give you some gloves, um, a color base, and a color developer. Um, the little thingy thing brush, I'm not using that. And then they give you like a little, you know, cup or whatever to put everything in, as well as the directions. Now, I have seen a couple of tutorials online. So, I feel like I'm like a pro. You know, I watch like two, three tutorials. So, I feel like I really know what I'm doing, you know. Like, I learn real fast. So, like, I probably could start charging for services and I never even did it yet. So, yeah. Can you open the thing? Anyway, so I got that. I got some Vaseline to put around the, the perimeter, which I probably need to put some on my lips. Uh, I got Vaseline. 
Mm, that feels so good. My lips look dry, dry. Mm. Got some Vaseline. I got this little rubber thing that I'm going to use for the Vaseline to put around the perimeter of my eyebrow. I got this um, little eyebrow filler in or uh, what you call it. And I'm going to do that to make the strokes and stuff. And then I got this is an eyebrow archer too just in case I need to go around anything to like finish it up and I got some um sensitive skin cleansing wipes you know to wipe it off and yeah I'm, a little, I'm not gonna lie I'm a little nervous but we're already here thus far so let's do it I'm, I'm excited all right so first thing that you're gonna do for mustaches and beard, you're going to squeeze into the little bowl and you're going to mix that joint up and then you're just going to apply it. So basically, all you're doing is mixing the two, two what you call this, up together, the developer and the color up together. Bam. So now going back now, here we go. So what happened was I was at a supply store and I was looking for the Just For Men's that everybody or for me or whatever it's called and i was looking for that and i didn't see it and i was like hmm look at this like it looks like the same product except why i didn't see that this says permanent and the other one was temporary so there's no going back now i'm fully invested so let's pull up your sleeves and let's get to going i'm about to just go ahead and make it do what it do so i'm gonna take the the hair color when I got dark brown, by the way, I got dark brown. I didn't think that light brown would show good, and I didn't think that black would be good for my eyes because, I mean, like, that's weird. The same amount of developer as you use, what you call it, as the, the color or whatever. So, let me show y'all how it looked before I mix it up. So, this is the developer and the color. I use equal amounts, as you can see. Try to do my best. And then I'm going to take the end of this little thingy thing. And I'm going to mix that up really, really. I'm scared, y'all. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> like, I'm a little scared. I'm a little bitty scared. Okay. This is the trial and error, y'all. So, if it come out good, then you can follow my directions. And if it don't, then you just know what not to do. <laughs> So this is what it came out looking like, y'all. And yeah, I'm just gonna try my. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna dip it into the Vaseline. Uh, shaping the color too, because I don't know how I'm about to do this. I'm I'm about to really try my best. This is so scary. This is some scary shit, y'all. I feel like a old girl scary movie. My toes is tingling and everything. The last thing I want is some permanent hair color on my skin where it shouldn't be. So, okay. let me clip my hair, y'all. All right. Oh, okay. Hey, don't turn the back. You can do this. All right. The ends, and then you work your way up to the front. Gosh. I'm trying to paint it on as if I'm really doing my eyebrows, if that makes sense. Alright, and I'm going back. I did it. Is there my heart beating so fast, y'all? I don't know. Like I feel like I'm doing something like a tattoo or something like. What can I do if this is horrible and it doesn't color correctly or like if I don't like it? What is the option? Why y'all let me do this? I don't even know the options. If I mess this up, like what can I do to fix it? I bleach my eyebrows and start over. All right, it's done. There's no going back, that's it. Like, it's done. All right, somebody told me like after five minutes, take the front off, like the, the very beginning. I just put a timer on y'all. Yeah. This is going. Let me show you what I'm going to do. So I have some lashes that I want to put on. So I got these wispy medium lashes. And then I have the full wispy 
medium lashes and then i have some of the wispy long volume um lashes all of these i got from the dollar tree i'm about to wipe the beginning of my eyebrow off but wait i need to spray it with some makeup remover spray Ooh! some makeup remover spray oh my gosh and i'm just gonna wipe off the beginning the very very beginning so just this part it actually definitely looks darker so i'm just wipe off that part i'm gonna do the other eye just the beginning part because you want it to be like an ombre kind of you don't want it to be like oh wow but Oh yeah, and y'all see, my tree is still up. It's still lit every night. Um, it makes me happy, okay? But once we go to Detroit and we come back, we're probably going to take it down. And I'll, you know, videotape all of it. So I think I'm about to go ahead and wipe all of it off. Mind you, I only supposed to cap it on for three minutes. And it's been on for about ten. <laughs> So let's go ahead and see what they looking like. I'm nervous. <sighs> okay, here we go, y'all. Oh, shit, that's dark. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. It's like I'm impressed and scared at the same time because that is really filthy in. Oh. Wow. That's so crazy. They they definitely got darker. Let me brush this up. Oh but I'm about to take an eyebrow archer and just go around it just to give it like a little shape. I barely got eyebrows, so it's not much to tint. Like, and when I do my makeup, I'm probably still going to fill in some parts. And then put concealer. And, you know, that's going to be that. I'm just trying to brush them up just to see what I'm working with. Just rewind it to, before I did this, to see... What you think how, as far as like how it came out? Like, do you think that the brow tint worked? Well, this method worked. Like, did it really make my eyebrows more tinted and colored or whatever? I think it definitely did. Because it looked like to me that I filled my eyebrows in. But I did not. So, I like it. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta tell me how y'all feel. Not even pulling my hair down like it's something done to it. But anywho, um, that's the end of this video. I'm going to see y'all next week. I got a lot of stuff coming um, this week. This video, upcoming videos. Um, I'm probably going to do some shopping. I'm probably going to do like a little brunch. I'm thinking about going to the mall and doing like a little try on for like some outfits. I do have to go to the Goodwill because I'm trying to find something um special for my cousin baby shower as far as my attire because i am hosting her baby shower i like to go thrifting for like real golden pieces stuff you ain't going to be able to buy at the store um and then i also want to see if they have something that i could put on my wall over here um in my front room because the wall is burr it's all outdoors and i need to put something on there so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing for the upcoming video that I'm about to start filming tomorrow. And for this video, for this week, I'm done. So, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. 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 Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> um, subscribe, like, make sure you put your post notifications on. And click that bell so that you can know whenever I post a video. And I'm going to see y'all next week. Alright, peace out.